ancient days, noble knights roamed the land, doing good deeds and acts of service for their king. Many of those brave squires served the greatest lord of all, the King of Kings. Travel with us now as we ride with these mighty men of God on their quest for kingdom adventures. Hello, children. Good morrow to you. It is I, Squire McIntyre, but you may call me Mac. Now, today, I've been given the task of guarding the kingdom gate. So, will you let me know if you see any suspicious characters? Will you? All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Bark, 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 bark. Who goes there? Oh, bark. it's just Rufus. And he's bark. barking again. Good. Bark, Rufus, bark. what is your message? Bark, bark, bark. Watch out for who? Bark, 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 bark. What? Bark. what is it? Oh, my goodness, a mask. Bark, bark. What is this, Halloween? Who, now, who bark. wears a mask? We got superheroes. Bark, 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 um, bark. Robbers, bark, 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 spies, bark, 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 doctors. Bark, bark, doctors? Bark, bark. Watch out for doctors. Bark. Watch out for doctors. Watch out for doctors. What are they going to do? Sneak up and heal me? <laughs> I think he means watch out for robbers. Oh, thank you, Robespierre. <gasps> Robespierre! Explain. I will wait for nothing. Oh, I'm trying to tell you, Mr. Knight. I have permission to be here. By whose authority do you come into this kingdom? By the authority of Prince... Uh, guess, guess, what is his name? Ah, Prince Fancy Pants. Prince loves a lot. We, oui, that's the one. Ha! Yes. Do you expect me to believe that Prince loves a lot gave you a pass to enter through my gate? Here you are. One pass. Let me see that. Dear Mac, oh, that's me. Yes, ma'am. Uh, please welcome my friend, Robespierre, into the kingdom. He wants to hear more about the king. Love, Prince loves a lot. Did you write this? No, would I do that? No, no, Prince loves a lot. Talk to me about Jesus, and we prayed so that I could enter the kingdom. Well, I'm not convinced, but you have this, so I'll let you enter. But I am going to keep an eye on you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What are you going to do with the other eye? Perhaps I'll use this one to read God's word. Oh. Are you familiar with God's word, Ropierre? I don't know which word is that. Hallelujah? Aha! You don't know God's word at all, do you? No, but if you hum a few bars, I'll try to sing along. Just with a thought. He doesn't know a thing about God's word. I'll get God's word out right now. All right. Very nice. Ah, uh, this is... A wonderful story. All right. This one takes place just after Jesus disappeared, and his, uh, this one takes place when mm -hmm. Jesus appeared to his disciples after he died and rose again. Wow, that Jesus sure gets around. Did you know that after Jesus rose from the dead, he appeared to over 500 of his followers? Sacre bleu, I did not know that. And on this day, mm -hmm. the disciples were fishing and Jesus was cooking some fish along the shore. And then he invited Peter and the boys to join him. And did they have French toast? Ooh, good question. Mm. Ah, actually, they just, they just had fish. Ah. But then Jesus started to ask Simon Peter some questions. Oh, good, like on Jeopardy. I'll take Old Testament for 500, Alex. No, Jesus asked Peter, do you truly love me? Oh, and what did Simon Peter say? He said, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Good answer. <laughs> and now what did Jesus say? He said, feed my lambs. What? What does loving Jesus have to do with Farm animals. Oh, no, he wasn't talking about animals. He was calling those who followed Jesus his lambs. Why? Did they have fluffy tails? No, but just as young sheep need help to grow, young followers need help to grow in their faith. Oh, and did Peter feed them carrots? No, no. actually, 
Jesus actually questioned Peter three times. And the Bible says, again, Jesus said, Simon, son of John, do you truly love me? And he answered, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And Jesus said, take care of my sheep. What? Now he has to take care of sheep? It's another way for Jesus to say, take care and feed of my followers. Wow, they sure are hungry all the time. That's because they are growing, and they're growing in their faith, and the Bible is like food for their faith. Are you sure? Do you ask a lot of questions? Well, I don't know anything. Oh, my goodness. What? Now I see why God led me to this story. What I'm supposed that? to feed you. Feed me? Oh, yes. no, I already ate. You know what? You sit down. Okay. I'll feed you. Oh, Here you no, go. I don't. Oh, Put on I, your bib. Oh. It's time for your dummy, dummy, Precious dummies. moments. Oh, okay. so cute. Open up the hangar. Here comes the airplane. Oh, no. Ah, no. Oh, zoom. Very good. Oh, goodness. I don't want vanilla custard. Oh, no? Would you prefer strained peas? No, what? I want to feed you. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I don't have a bib. Uh, no, I don't want to feed you food. You are now God's lamb, and I think he wants me to help feed your faith. Oh, it does? Yes, of course. <laughs> Jesus wasn't just talking to Peter. He was talking to all of us. That oh. it's our job to help new followers grow in the faith and help feed their faith. And we're supposed to help feed the poor and help the sick and be a servant to others. That's how we serve the king. And after all, serving the king is, is the, the noblest thing. thing. <laughs> Come on, Rafael. Yeah, let's read another Bible story. I can't wait to feed you. Sounds good. I'm getting hungry let's now. Go. So long, kids.